Is it correct? No. I'm sorry, but you need at least one extra X on the board to win. You lose. <laughs> So they're 13-0. They tie the modern-day record for wins out of the gates. 13-0. But here we go with the numbers because this is where this is where you go from 13-0 to ridiculous, absolutely absurd. They're winning by better than five runs a game. They're not scoring more than five a game. They're winning by more than five a game. And this one here is really truly amazing. They have trailed at the end of six innings out of 117 innings. So, you know, look, I'm trying to find another way to say they're pretty good. Tampa Bay Rays, they're going to begin a series in Toronto on Friday. Meanwhile, we have games going on right now. Let's get to them live. We're going inside the park, and we are starting with, as I wait for my friend Brianna. Brianna, hello! St. Louis, let's go. Bottom five, two away. Colin Ray pitching a really good game. Haven't seen a whole lot of him in a number of years. So, uh, streaks that ended today. Aaron Judge, his 45 game on base streak is over. They got waxed by the Twins, talking about the Yankees. And Jordan Walker starts his career with a 12 game hit streak. He's 20 years old. That also came to an end as the Bucks beat the Cardinals. One streak that is still going, the Tampa Bay Rays. They have won 13 in a row to begin the season. And tomorrow, they go for the modern-day record. If they win that game, they will have the modern-day record for consecutive wins to begin the season. On the mound in Toronto, Drew Rasmussen for Tampa Bay who has given up no runs so far this year. He'll be facing Jose Barrios, who has given up 12 earned in nine and two thirds. So, on paper, it looks like it may favor Tampa Bay going in. Who knows? Tampa Bay, a winner today. Toronto, a loser. Let me wrap this whole thing up by saying thank you for watching MLB beginning on that yellow. See you tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Take care.